So many boxes. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Austin here. I'm really excited to be bringing you guys this video. This is the first part of basically the parts that I'm going to be using for my ultimate video editing PC build. So first up, we have probably the most important thing that you could put in a PC, especially a video editing machine, and this is the processor. So right here I'm going to be using the i7-4770K and I'm going to tell you guys why I chose this. So the 4770K is one of Intel's new 2013 Haswell chips. This is actually their highest end desktop version of their Haswell kits and this is a quad core processor running at 3.5 gigahertz with hyper threading so it's basically going to simulate like it has eight threads and basically why I chose this is because I'm going to be doing video editing so I'm going to need basically all the power I can get. Most of the tasks that I will be doing on this PC are going to come right from this bad boy right here, not the GPU as some people might think. Um, unless you have programs such as like Adobe Premiere that can actually take advantage of some of like Nvidia's cards and maybe even ATI's cards, uh, you're going to be better off getting a really good processor and saving out some of your money on the video card because video editing really comes down to the processor. So your video editing machine should be CPU heavy like I said before and not GPU heavy. Don't let your GPU bottleneck your CPU. This thing needs to be as fast as you can get, as many cores as you can get. Also, the reason why I initially went with the i5-4670K, mostly because it's one of a, it's a really good value uh, processor. You can get it for around 200 bucks. I think somebody got shot. Now, the reason why I didn't go with something like the 4670K is because that's really a gaming processor. With this, the i7 brings one of the most important features that I've been needing, and that is hyper-threading. Now, the de what hyper-threading is, it's basically multiple lanes of work being done at the same time. Now, games, and why you might want to go with the 4670K as opposed to the 4770i7 version, is one, you'll save money. Um, the reason why you don't see as much performance um, from the i7 to the i5 in terms of gaming is because most games are very lightly threaded meaning that they're not going to take advantage of hyper threading but video editing applications will eat this thing up so that's why I went with this instead and you might also notice I went with the K version which stands for unlocked for Intel so that means that I will or can and will be overclocking this bad boy probably around 4.5 gigahertz I have a really good cooler um, you guys will see that in one of the later videos, but I'm going to be overclocking these things. That's why I went with the 4770K. And if you're thinking of overclocking, the reason why I just went ahead with it is because this is only a couple bucks more. I don't want to say a couple bucks, but maybe $20 or $30 more for the 4770K. And rather than run at the stock speed of 3.5 gigahertz, I'd be able to take this thing up to like 4.5 and run it stably from there. So if I can get all the power I can, why not go for the K version? So that's the processor for the ultimate video editing PC. Hope you guys like this video. I'm going to be bringing you guys at least one video every day of the different parts that I'm using and why I chose them for this build. So make sure you subscribe to see all of the latest videos, including the other parts for this build. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you like the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Mm.